Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a miniature vending machine. Just like a traditional vending machine, the possibilities are endless. You can do candy, toiletries, Game Boy games, tea and or coffee, miscellaneous, but it functions just like a regular one. Insert a coin, dispense a product, and the cycle repeats. Here's our 3D model, just to start. Construction is really basic, and this one's held together with screws so we can easily access, get to the quarters, or just refill the machine. Okay, to start building this, we're gonna glue two pieces together. This is the divider that's at the bottom. It splits where the food drops or whatever, and the quarters go, so they don't get mixed. You don't want that. Then we'll take the back piece, mark the front, and mark our hole locations for the servos and drill them, then mount all the servos. These, this is just number six nuts and bolts to hold the servos, and they're parallax continuous rotation servos. Then put the Arduino where it's supposed to go, mark those holes, drill them, and mount the Arduino. Uh, that's the bottom of the vending machine. Put some felt pads, and we'll use a couple number six bolts to keep this thing secure as we build. These are the product trays with the dividers. and No need to glue them, we'll just stick them in there loosely with the tabs so they'll stay put. I'll try and put these sides on. It just helps if you take your time. And put a couple of bolts to keep everything held together and square just for the rest of the pieces line up. At this point, you can start wiring all the electronics, but to give you an idea of how the rest of the cabinet goes together, I'll just continue building it so you can see what the final assembly looks like. It was at this point I realized the bottom is not symmetrical from the front and back, and I mounted the Arduino on the wrong side. So don't do that. Make sure you get it right, especially if you make your own cabinets and you still get it wrong. This is that divider tab when it's glued. You can see how it splits off where the quarters and all the electronics are and then where all the prizes or food or whatever dispenses on the opposite side. That's the front, you can see the cutouts. The screen I'm using for the display is from an old Nokia phone. It's a 5110 LCD. You can find these in pretty much any electronics distributor. The only catch is it runs on three volts, so make sure you're using the correct voltage from the Arduino. And you'll also need a level shifter to drop all the data lines from 5 volts of the Arduino to 3 volts for what the screen will accept. You can get by with 5, but it will reduce the, life, reduce the life on the LCD. Here's our four servos marked ABCD. Everything's powered on 5 volts. Then our five input buttons to make the selection. Another status LED. And if you're lighting the cabinet up, which really helps, I'm using 12 volt LED light strips. We're then going to mark where that top strip of lights go. I recycled this from something so the adhesive back is pretty much useless so I have to hot glue it in place but you know every DIYer hot glues something. Then the top shelf gets lights underneath it to light the bottom shelf and we'll give that a quick test because it's always great to test your wiring as you go to identify problems. Looks pretty good so far. So with the Arduino mount in the right place I'm putting some screw terminal headers on that I got on eBay and then I made this proto shield board to make the servos easy to plug into because the whole point of this is making things modular it's just easier to assemble especially when you're making a video so there are clear screen protector I made but I made this full size sheet to also keep the quarter slot from getting too nicked up from quarters and we'll also put that front clear plate in too since it's a vending machine we're going for you know the real thing. At this point you can put it together but we still have a lot of wiring to do and that's boring so it's done. It's the magic of editing. Then we're gonna slip the servo plugs through the back, plug them in, and then insert our power jack as well. Since we're running on a mix of 12 and 5 volts I'm using a voltage regulator that another $4 eBay part which will drop that input 12 volts to 5 volts to power the servos and the Arduino and I'm just mounting it underneath the first bottom shelf and sticking those wires in. So now we're gonna do a power test for everything and our cool adjustable voltage regulator has a nice display. 
really handy, but too bad you can't see it. And then we'll put that divider in, but make sure you put all the wires through that little cutout. Then stick the bottom on. The dispensary coils I just made from what I could find. One was a TIG welding stick, and the other was a coat hanger rack that I just cut and bent around something really thick to kind of stretch it out to what I need it to be. And they're just glued to the back of some circles that I had 3D printed a long time ago. So we'll insert those. And then we'll give it a test. And you can make these servos spin clockwise, counterclockwise. Just make sure you bend these the dispensary coils the right way. The coin insert detector is just an input pull up and it, we're just using two wires that make a connection that will conduct through the quarter. And you just have to hot glue them in place, bend them around the right way. So it contacts through the quarter, but it doesn't make the quarter get stuck in the coin slot, which happens a little bit in this video until I dial things down correctly. Put the rest of the circles on, I'll get some coat hangers later. And we'll put the front on, screw it in place, and plug in power, test her out. Look at that. Magic of editing. Two shots. You can see the insert 25 cents. You can make this whatever you want. You can make us custom graphics. And we'll populate our vending machine with the candy bars I like the least, since this is all that's left over from what I eat. And here you can see the quarters are getting stuck, so a little bit of adjustments required. And with a stuck quarter, essentially you're still getting free products until it comes through. And you can see there's wires in the way that are preventing that quarter from dropping down. But again, you know, fine tuning, no time for that when you're making a video. And just like a real vending machine, things get stuck. So I think it's 100% authentic. I'll talk about the code real brief. This is the data sheet for the Parallax Continuous Rotation Servo. If we go down to the communication protocols for it within that data sheet on their website, you can see if you want clockwise rotation, you need a high pulse of 1.3 milliseconds, or if you want counterclockwise, you need a pulse of 1.7 milliseconds. So in our code, we'll set two variables for clockwise, counterclockwise for that time allowance, and then we'll just send in a, in a for loop We'll pulse it high, delay that amount of time, pulse it low, and then repeat. So the for loop executes 57 times, which is about a full rotation for this servo.